Today's Sunday Plan With Me video is going to be all about your Google Calendar and how you can color code creating by creating different calendars within your Google Calendar. So within your overall Google Calendar, you can have what I would call categories, but their calendars um, within your Google Calendar. So you can actually color code on your you know, tasks and you can have categories. So if you have routines that you typically do on a day-to-day -day basis, or if you have reoccurring meetings, you can plug all of those in within this, with a specific color. And so I just love being able to plan within my Google Calendar and see all of these colors and know exactly how I have my day laid out just by looking at the colors because I know now all of the different calendars or categories that I have within my Google Calendar and I can easily identify the different areas that I am, you know, working on that particular day. And so I'm going to dive in and share with you how you can go about doing this within your own Google Calendar as well. So I'm going to swipe over to um, the screen sharing and show you. Okay, so we are in my Google Calendar now, and I'm going to show you now how to set up separate calendars and, or what I would call categories within your Google Calendar. And so what you can do is you would come to where it says other calendars and you would click on the plus sign and you would click on create new calendar. And let's call this one daily routines. So this could mean your morning routine, your evening routine, breakfast, lunchtime, dinner time, all of those things that you do on a day-to-day, -day, everyday basis. So let's create that calendar. And it looks like it was created, successfully created. Okay, so you can see here that we have this daily routines calendar. And you can come into here with these three dots here and you can, pick whatever color you would like to use for this daily routines. Let's pick blue. So let's, actually it's very similar to the other one. Um, let's pick this green. And let's put in, let's say that we have an evening routine. We're just gonna add that in and call it an e evening routine. And this is actually how I go about um, planning out my days as I use the specific categories um, that relate to, you know, the different areas of my life that I'm scheduling out. And so the other kind of categories that I like to have, um, create new calendar again, is I actually have a out of office category, um, which means that you're actually going to have to leave your house and go somewhere. And so what I like to do is I like to create this, use a, a kind of bold color so that I know that if it's something I need to get out of the house for, then I need to make sure that I am, you know, ready for being out of the house. And so let's say I have a doctor's appointment in this time and let's call it doctor's appointment. So I'm going to have to be out of the office or out of, out of the house. Um, and we're going to, so how you change the different categories is you would come, or calendars, is you would come to this section here and click on the, what they have as daily routines selected. We're going to choose out of office for this one. And with that same category, you can also schedule in your commute time. So I like to make sure that I schedule in my commute time. So let's say it takes 30 minutes to get to the doctor's office. And again, that would be out of the office as well. So you can kind of have that, those kind of different categories. You could have a category for exercise if you want to track your workouts or your exercises. And then when you, you know, label it, so let's say that we have, we're gonna create a new calendar and we're gonna call this exercise or workouts. And we're gonna create that calendar and we're gonna go back to our main page. And it looks like it shows the same color as the out of office. So let's change this one to a yellow for exercise. And let's say we can, we're going to get in um, walking. We're going to walk around the block. Um, 
during that time. And so we're gonna change the daily routine to exercise. So now you can see that you can start to easily look at your calendar to see, okay, what do I have going on just by looking at the colors? And so I love being able to create different categories or different calendars within my you know, overall Google calendar so that I can identify, you know, when am I working on my business? When am I working on my client's business? When am I, you know, doing exercising? When am I out of the office? When, so I like to kind of section off my, you know, day-to-day -day routine or day-to-day -day planning so that I can easily view um, the different colors and the different categories as I'm looking at, you know, my weekly view, or if I'm planning out my week, um, I can see, okay, what all do I have coming up in these different categories? And so then I can better plan out my day. So if I have an off doctor's appointment listed and, you know, the coming week, I'll need to make sure that I add a time block before that so I can commute there and then a time block after that so I can commute home. Um, so I'm accounting for, you know, that time frame that, you know, I can't schedule things in during that time frame. So hopefully this was helpful for you so that you can create your own categories or calendars within your own Google Calendar as well. So I personally love color coding within anything that I have. So when I saw this option available within Google, Cal Google Calendar, I knew that I wanted to make sure that I incorporated this into my day-to-day -day planning as well. So hopefully you are able to do the same and create a colorful display within your own Google Calendar. And if you are interested in seeing more of these plan with me videos, um, don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because every Sunday I'll be coming out with a plan with me video. And then Tuesday is all about Trello Tuesday and Friday is about a product or service or system that I'm using or program that I'm using that helps me to streamline my life even more as well. So stay tuned for these coming videos um, week by week. So I hope you subscribe if you're interested in seeing more about these videos. And thank you again for watching this one.